Hi, I am Ajit Virkud, Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology from Mumbai. Hello, in this HD video, which is part 5 of my series on instruments in obstetrics and gynecology, I am going to discuss general surgical instruments which are used in obstetrics and gynecological surgery. Two types of towel clips are used for draping the patient. Jones and Backhouse. There are two types of retractors, handheld and self-retaining. First, I will show some handheld retractors. C-shaped retractor. S-shaped retractor. Right angled retractor. Zerni's retractor. Doyen's bladder retractor. Givers Retractor Langenbach Retractor Malleable Retractor Examples of self-retaining retractors are Balfour's self-retaining retractor Ring retractor Lone Star Retractor Gelpi Retractor used for obstetric anal sphincter injuries repair Plain Tissue Holding Forceps Rat Tooth Forceps Alice Traumatic Forceps Babcock Atraumatic Forceps Lane Forceps Spencer Wells Clamp Bart Parker 
scalpel handle. The most commonly used scalpel handles in obstetrics and gynecology are number 4 and number 7. Nowadays, disposable scalpel handles and blades are available as shown in this picture. Scalpel handles can be held in two ways. Palmer grip and pencil grip. Surgical blades come in different sizes and shapes. Number 20 blade has a larger and broader curved cutting edge and a flat back. For making a skin incision, a large broad number 20 or number 10 surgical blade is used. Number 11 blade has a triangular sharp edge with a pointed tip and a flat cutting edge at an acute angle to the handle and a flat back. It is used for incision and drainage of Bartholin's abscess. Number 15 blade is a smaller version of number 10 it is used in gynecology for making fine incisions like for trans obturator tape or trans vaginal tape operations. Needle driver, also called needle holder. Dissecting scissors. Straight Mayo dissecting scissors. Medicine bomb scissors, also known as Steely's scissors. Suture cutting scissors. Suture cutting scissors. Hemostat, also incorrectly referred to as artery forceps. Hemostat is also known as Kelly's forceps. It can be straight or curved. Yonkor Suction Tip Yonkor Suction Tip Fine Suction Tip Multi perforated suction tip. Vein retractor.
half circle curved needle straight needle Lastly, I'm going to show two instruments which I use personally but are not used by others. Puhi needle is a disposable needle device for epidural anesthesia. I, as a pelvic reconstructive surgeon, find it very ideal for submucosal infiltration of saline in adrenaline in vaginal surgeries like vaginal hysterectomy, TVT or TOT or mesh plasty operations. I prefer it because of its anti-coring tip. Tears pylorus or appendicular crushing clamp is a clamp that has longitudinal serrations on the inner surface. In the good old residency days, we used to apply this Tears appendicular crushing clamp during mini laparotomy to a peril tubal sterilization operation. I know most surgeons use the hemostat for crushing the base of the tubal loop but this is not 100% foolproof because the hemostat has transverse serrations that crush the tube along its lumen leaving behind micro channels through which a sperm can swim across theoretically hence we used to use the pairs appendicular crushing clamp that will crush the tube across the lumen leaving no scope for sperm to pass through for further reading on this topic and other topics in obstetrics and gynecology refer to following book written by me practical obstetrics and gynecology modern obstetrics modern gynecology clinical cases in obstetrics questions and answers clinical cases in gynecology questions and answers and pelvic reconstructive surgery if you have found this video useful and informative Please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking here.